You are asking a house deposit for this bag. My boyfriend's currently at De Beers looking at um, the ring he's going to buy me. I really like these shoes. I feel like this is possibly the most unsafest way of me showing you a pair of jeans and that will have to do for today. Good morning everybody, welcome back to the vlog. I've turned my vlog camera on again today because I actually really enjoyed doing my last vlog which was kind of like spend the whole day with me. So today we're going to spend the day together again but this time I'm actually going to leave the house. Anyway, let's get in the shower by the way. If you think my teeth look weird, I still have my retainers in. That's how much I've only just woken up. I'm just currently trying to make my face the same colour as the rest of my body because this tan, I put it on in my last vlog which was I think like two days ago that I put this on, maybe three days ago, but this tan is really tanning. I mean it looks slightly orange around my wrist, that doesn't look great. It always shows so much worse on camera than it is in real life, but the tan itself is amazing. I honestly think it is the darkest tan I've ever had from a self tanner. It's given I've been on a two week holiday, however I would never look like this after a two week holiday because... I just don't tan naturally. You always ask what this product is that I'm rubbing into my face and it is Charlotte Tilbury. It's one of their contour ones and it comes in two shades and I use the shade Fair Medium just in case you wanna buy it. I was thinking the other day when I was doing my makeup, if there was one product I couldn't live without makeup wise, I honestly think I'd say it was this. This is the Rodeo Banana Low Lighter and it just transforms my makeup. Most concealers go really kind of patchy and cakey but this doesn't, it just brightens up your face. I also picked up a handbag size one the other day. Sorry, but why is that so cute? Everything that comes in miniature size, I just think is the cutest thing ever. That must be why everyone says that I'm so cute because I'm so small. I am joking, no one's ever called me cute in my life. I'll tell you something that is also cute though, if any of you noticed my nails, I've switched them up. Look, they have little cherries on them. So I went for kind of like a round almond shape. I usually get short and square. And then I had these little cherries put on them. I mean, do you hate them? Do you love them? I just felt like being a little bit wild, something a little bit different. I recently picked up this palette from Look Fantastic, but it is from Bobbi Brown. Look how cute the packaging is. And it's a blush highlighter combo. Sorry, look at that. A little bit of the Refi Brow Tint. This is in the shade Medium Brown, if any of you wanted to know. And then for my wing, I always use the same eyeshadow. I used to use this on my brows years ago, but it's from MAC and it's in the shade Charcoal Brown. For lips, I'm going to do Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. So many of you messaged me or wrote in the comments of my last vlog saying that you loved this lip liner i wasn't sure if it looked good on me but so many of you said it was nice so thank you it's made me like it more gloss today i'm gonna do a dior lip oil i love this stuff it makes your lips look so glossy mascara i want to use my favorite one hourglass but i feel like it's gone too thick and clumpy so maybe today we should use this instead which is maybelline sky high which is really good or should i use l'oreal telescopic do you know what i think i'm gonna use this you know what? I forget how good this mascara is. I always used to use the black one with the gold writing when I was at school. And all these years later, it's still one of the best mascaras out there. And that will have to do for today. I've got to re-blow dry my hair. And then I need to film some stories. And then we need to go out. I am dressed. I am ready. Hair is done. It's actually gone really well. I am about to film some stories. I'm just going to show you a little bit of a behind the scenes. This is the glamorous life I lead. Whenever I film stories, I always film in front of this window. On my chair from the breakfast bar... I have also stuff everywhere in this room. I'm loving this little setup over here, by the way. I can't wait to film a YouTube video for you guys where this is the background. I'm unsure though, look, the plinth arrived. I'm unsure if I'm loving it. I feel like I should have got a black one. They do black ones on H&M. So I'm thinking I might order that. I don't want to send this back though, because I think once I finally get a house, this will suit the vibe like in house. But I feel like for a filming area, it needs to be black, not wood. I just finished filming, but I've only got 20 minutes to edit this before I need to go and jump in a cab and get to my first appointment of the day. So, I need to put my head down and do this and I'll speak to you after. <laughs> 10 minutes ago it was pouring down with rain and now the sun is back out, the weather cannot make its mind up. Anyway, I finished editing. I just got myself a little snack because I am starving. This is such a good snack, by the way, guys. Peanut butter on a rice cake with raspberries and a little bit of um, either honey or like that agave syrup. It's so good. I feel like today is a Joe in the Juice day, though. I'm going to get a Joe in the Juice. But I just feel like I need this. Just give me some energy to walk there. By the way, I'm not going to wear this hoodie because I've actually worn this hoodie in the last two vlogs. 
And no, I didn't wash it. I'm going to be honest, it hasn't been washed. But I'm not wearing it today. I just wanted to link it on Instagram because I know you all love Adenola as much as me. And if you can get your hands on it because it's in stock, then why not? I've styled it quite cute today, though. I've got a little white t-shirt underneath from Arquette. My jeans are new look. And then I've got on my New Balance 550s, which kind of match it because these are green. Well, we've only just managed to get out the house and it is currently 6.45. So it's actually kind of late. I'm going to give you two seconds to guess where we are. The clue was in the ceiling. We're in Harrods, of course we are. I mean, I feel like I come here every other day just because it's close to home. And I feel like you can just do everything in Harrods. The other day I had a massage here. It's basically a one-stop shop. My boyfriend's currently at De Beers looking at um, the ring he's going to buy me. There it is. Sorry, look at the size of that diamond. You can't see it on camera, how big it is. And look at this necklace. Wow. The jewellery they do in De Beers is actually so stunning. I love this collection. I've been tempted to get myself a piece from it. Another huge ring. Look at the size of that rock. Let's have a little look in Louis Vuitton. I'm in the shoe heaven currently in Harrods. I really like these shoes. I put them on my store and everyone hated them. What do we think? See, this is the one. I think they look so cool with a pair of jeans. Or even like imagine like a pair of like tracksuit bottoms, like really chilled. Or even a pair of shorts. I don't know. I really like them. I don't know. I should just buy them if I like them. But I need your guys' opinion. What do we think about them? Look at this whole table full of Manolos. So stunning. Look how sparkly they are. <gasps> Sex in the City vibes over here. I feel like Renee's will... Well, I want to say always be my favourite for shoes. Maybe not always, but look at the display in Harrods. I mean, they've got new colours as well. Pink, lilac, fuchsia. So beautiful. I love them. Sophia Webster. I mean... I think their shoes are a work of art. Where you'd ever wear them, I am unsure. Look at this shoe, look at it, like there's a whole butterfly. And this one, wow, I mean, yeah. I just think they are so pretty, but they're not really me. This one, I mean, look at the crystals. I mean, I mean, I have no words. Good morning, I have been spring cleaning. The clocks went, is it back or forward? I always get confused with that. I can never remember if it's like which way it goes, but whatever, the clocks changed last night. So we lost an hour. So it's actually much later in the day than I wanted it to be, but I've just finished tidying the apartment. I always feel like when the space around me is clean, my head feels so much better as well. But this is my little filming area. By the way, did I show you in the video these plinths? I can't remember. I feel like I should have got black ones. I feel like I've said that to you already. Sorry if I already said that and I'm repeating myself, but I kind of set this up so I was gonna film Instagram reels here. Well, I've actually done a few already. I felt like I needed to start filming more reels because everyone else does. And I feel like it's the thing that everyone does now and like pictures, I mean, they're still a thing, but you know, Instagram's changed a lot to reels. However, whenever I post a reel, none of you like it. You all still love pictures, which I'm happy about because I do too, but these reels take so long to film. And then, yeah, everyone just um, doesn't enjoy them. So that's not great. But anyway, I'm going to keep trying. My apartment really does have so much stuff in it. But this is like the table air I've got going on. I feel like I should declutter this because it's, it's a lot of stuff. But these smell so nice. I've got two, um, what are these called? Diffusers going at the moment. This one is Beauty Pie and it's like a clean house scent. This one is Jo Malone and it's called Lavender and Moonflower. And it's such a gorgeous scent. They also do a bedtime spray, which I use on my pillow at night time. And honestly, it smells so good. And over here, I still can't bring myself to light this diptyque candle. It's just so beautiful. I keep saying once I get into like a home that is mine, then I will light this. And my boyfriend also bought me a big Loewe one. Do any of you remember for Christmas? That is still in its box in my dressing room. Like I can't even get it out. So that is also waiting until... A home is bought. Sofa is all neat and tidy and I also found this calendar guys. My nan makes us or makes my family a calendar every year and we all get one um, and on each month is like a family member so October is the two dogs which is actually my sister's dogs um, Dutch and Delilah. They're actually so cute. Look Dutch is a Doberman and Delilah is a miniature Dachshund and they have like a really similar colouring so they look like little and large. Eyes, I'm the favourite one and if you're watching this you know I am the favourite lol. I'm January. Angus's birthday is in February so he's on the cover of that. Dad's birthday is March. 
<laughs> so there he is, pouring from a big barrel. Oh, and then there's a picture of my dad and I. I don't think any of you have ever seen this before. My mum took it at Harry's when we went for dinner together. Um, but obviously April is my birthday month, which guys, my birthday is the 28th of April. I know so many of you know already because I've mentioned it 150 times, but I'm going to be turning 30 and I can't believe how quickly it's coming round. Number one, where have the years gone? But also, how fast is this year going? That's my brother and my sister. I don't know if any of you have ever seen my sister before, um, but that is for August. I wonder if there's any picture of my mum. I feel like you guys have never seen my mum. She hates being on camera. Oh, there's a picture of my mum and also my uncle. But this is my mum's birthday month. This is such a rubbish, blurry photo. But that's my lovely little mum. We call her Little Linz. Her name's Lindsay and she's very little. <laughs> I have no idea why I just showed you the family calendar, but I found it when I was cleaning and I thought it was quite good. So I feel like I need to write all my dates and stuff on there and pin it on the wall somewhere. Anyway, yesterday was such a beautiful sunny spring-like day and today it's extremely cloudy. But I thought it'd be a really good opportunity to do a wardrobe switch around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put away all of my winter stuff, even though it is actually really still quite cold. And you know what I did today as well, is I looked on Instagram at some of my outfits from last year, like my spring outfits, because I was gonna do like a throwback, you know, one of those carousel posts. And it is actually crazy how this time last year, so many of my outfits were really kind of spring. And this year we're still in coats. Like it's so cold this year. But I'm thinking it would be a good time to put away all of like my knitwear and things like that. I'm not gonna be able to put my coats away because there's too many of them. I feel like there's nowhere to put them. So they'll have to stay up. But I'm gonna put away all my knitwear and replace the knitwear with kind of little jackets and things and just kind of zhuzh up the wardrobe. I also have some things to show you, which I bought yesterday. Of course I bought something. I didn't buy anything too crazy, but I have some bits to show you. I don't know if any of you know this, but Quarterly, you know the skincare brand, the ones that I went on the trip with and the skincare that I use every single day, they do their own tea. Have I told you this before? I feel like I always repeat myself, I'm sorry if I do, but they do this tea and they gave it to us when we was on the trip, like we had it when we was there and it tastes so good. If you are a herbal tea lover, you'll really, well, I think you'll really like it. When I got home, I ordered a bunch of boxes. I drink it every single day and it's got so many health benefits as well. But this is the current situation. So here we have coats. We have um, like hoodies and t-shirts there. Over here we have a knitwear, which is what I wanna take all of that knitwear out, well, most of it. And then we have blazers and this section here is just overflowing because it's lots of jackets and things like that. So basically I want to put some of those jackets up there and I want to get some of that knitwear and put it into these drawers. Just make a little bit more room because I have some new stuff over here, which you can see. Um, I'm going to show you that in a minute, but there's just nowhere to put it. And I feel like I need to kind of put away the hat and scarf and the boots. I mean the boots I'm not going to put away fully, but... I feel like I just need to kind of turn this a little bit more spring-like. By the way, I'd really love to put my um, bags on this shelf, but it gets too much sunlight when it's actually sunny. And I'm worried the sunlight will damage it. My bags are obviously over on this shelf and the sunlight comes in from this angle, so it never hits the bags themselves, which kind of makes me feel a little bit better. But I am thinking I should probably put them in their dust bags more often. Speaking about bags, I have to show you this Chanel bag. So I was in Selfridges, was it yes? No, it must have been the day before yesterday. And I know I said in my last video that I'm never buying another Chanel bag. I mean, I never said that quite, but I just said I'm done with Chanel. And I so am. I feel like the price increases have been ludicrous. They're just not justifiable. And I've mentioned many times before, the quality, I'm actually gonna show you something. The quality is not that great. And do you remember I did a Chanel, um, I kind of did like a Chanel review video not so long ago. I spoke about my Chanel bags and I kind of said that this, did I, I don't know if I actually said this, I can't remember or not, but I think I kind of said that this was in quite good shape. It wasn't just for the other day that I noticed how much all of the corners are rubbing so much. Like this one here, I don't know if it will really show on camera, but can you see almost like the leather is peeling there and I definitely haven't scuffed it. I just think that's so bad. So the price increases, in my opinion, they're just not justified, but I unfortunately still love the bags very much. And, you know, if I see one and I love it so much, I might buy it, but I've got to really, really, really love it. I really feel like I need it. I mean, you're never actually going to need a Chanel bag, but you know what I mean. 
And then I was in Selfridges and I saw this one. And you guys know I've been on the hunt for the perfect beige classic flap for so long. I mean, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this picture properly. I'm going to insert like a photo here of it so you can really see it. The colour was perfect. Caviar leather, you guys know I prefer caviar to lambskin because it's more durable. Champagne gold hardware. It was like love at first sight. And I thought to myself, look, you're 30 at the end of April. You're going to buy yourself a gift. This can be your 30th birthday present gift, even though you've told everyone that you're boycotting Chanel. And you are totally full of shit. We all know how much I love handbags. So I just thought, look, it could be a gift to myself. And then I started like inspecting it a bit more. Guys, the flap at the front was wonky. So I said to the guy who was serving me, who honestly wasn't really that nice, but anyway, I said the flap is kind of like, it looks a bit wonky. And I know that's a little bit of an offensive thing to say, but honestly, the amount you're asking for this handbag, I want it to be perfect. So then you kind of took the chain out a little bit and there was like a security tag on it. So we were thinking maybe that was making it wonky. No, the flap was obviously wonky. I don't even think you can see it in this photo because I'm holding it on an angle. But honestly, one side, the flap was longer than the other. Like it was skew with. I thought to myself, you are asking a house deposit for this bag and it's just not okay. But anyway, he checked in other stores and they had one in the Sloan Street store where I have a lovely essay in the Sloan Street store. She's so nice. I text her and I was meant to go and view it yesterday and then I just kind of like thought about it long and hard and right now in my life, it is not a sensible thing to be doing, buying a bag that's that much money. And as much as I love the colour of it, like, it's so nice. I feel like it's more of, like, an autumnal colour. It's something you could definitely wear like, all year round, don't get me wrong. It's, like, a dark beige. I just feel like it wasn't the right buy. And can you believe I actually was really sensible and I decided against buying it? So, yeah, I still feel like I'm going to stick to my word with Chanel. And unless it is perfect, and I feel like I couldn't live without the colour, which, let's face it, you can live without any colour of bag, I'm just not going to buy it. But that doesn't stand for the minis. So, if you see me doing, like, another six Chanel unboxing with mini flaps this year, don't come for me because I'm not including those in my Chanel boycott. Because the price of those, don't get me wrong, they have increased. But I feel like they're worth it for me. And I'd love a grey one and a khaki one. Anyway, that was a Chanel price increase rant that nobody asked for. One more thing about the Chanel bag. The amount of you, I put it on my Instagram story, and the amount of you that messaged me saying, I hope you got it, you better have got it, you need that. You guys are such a bad influence on me. Like, I was so tempted because of your messages, can't lie. It was making me think, do I really need it? I feel like I do. You guys love it, but yeah, anyway, I've been sensible and I'm not getting it. I only realistically have one drawer that all of these nips can go into, and it's this one, and this is full of scarves. So where am I going to put these scarves if I take this out? By the way, my boyfriend bought me this not so long ago as a surprise. He came home with it. Well, he, it was literally two weeks ago. This Loewe scarf, how nice. But then I did have to tell him that it was spring and I probably won't wear it till next year. But that'd be nice come like October. <laughs> I have a bunch of vacuum bags, which I got off of Amazon. And I could actually put all of this stuff in there. You know, I've said this so many times, but these... Um, Ikea pack systems are so good. Like, they're such a great investment. If any of you have been thinking about getting them for your home, like, I couldn't recommend them more. They're such a brilliant, like, bit of furniture. <laughs> so many knits left up there but i feel like i need them like they're kind of like spring knits kind of is there any such thing as a spring knit you know like a lightweight kind of cashmere jumper that you could put over your shoulders i feel like that's what they are Off. I'm listening to a, a podcast by the way with Jay Shetty. I love his podcast. I feel like everyone knows who he is. He's like the biggest podcaster maybe in the world. I'm not sure. It's with Roxy Nafusi. I don't know if I'm saying her name right. I actually started listening to it yesterday when I was cooking breakfast. So I'm just listening to kind of the end of it. But it's on Manifestation Masterclass and how to set better intentions to attract your dream life. I know some of you are into this and I know some of you are not because I get a lot of comments um, about this kind of stuff. But I am really into it. And whenever I get a minute and I'm just kind of like doing my own thing, I pop on a podcast and I think his are really good if any of you want any podcast recommendations. I do also love, um, there's one called The Receipts Podcast. Those girls are hilarious. It always takes me back to lockdown because I had been listening to them before the lockdown. 
but around that time I listened to them so much and I feel like they got me through that time but their podcast is so funny also the girls bathroom so if you're in Chintzia that's so good but they're all a little bit more kind of like light-hearted but sometimes I find this is quite educational and it makes me really think and stuff anyway I digress I can't decide it's whether to you can't even see it right now let me pan you up I can't decide whether to put my hoodies you still can't see this is terrible I can't decide whether to take my hoodies down and put them in here move any knit where I have and put it over to there with like t-shirts I feel like that's quite a good idea I feel like we should do like t-shirts knitwear and then do jackets and stuff over that side I don't even know why I asked you because you can't help me anyway because you can't speak to me right now so I think I'm gonna do that I feel like it will end up being okay <laughs> Okay, I feel like that was a really bad idea. It looks even more wintry than it did before and it looks really cluttered. So I think now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move all of the knitwear back and put my jackets there instead. How good this drawer looks i mean i am the biggest adenola and anina bing fan but look how satisfying that is i thought i was out of hangers but look how many hangers i now have after clearing out all of that stuff the knitwear doesn't really look like it's changed but i've taken so much of it out now i'm going to start on these jackets and i'm going to start moving some of them up here loving how this looks i feel like it looks more messy and cluttered than it did before it doesn't look great does it i mean what i need to say to myself is it might not look great but what it is is it's a lot like more spring before i put all of this stuff away that i bought yesterday i thought i could just do a little try on haul for you all because why not i picked up this jacket from zara love it it's a bomber jacket but it's kind of got like a much more kind of luxurious feel to it it's almost like a dressy bomber because um, of the material that's used but it's black it's plain as you can see if we move a little bit closer you can see that the collar is ribbed and so are the cuffs but just imagine it with let's say like a pair of jeans and trainers i actually picked up these jeans from arket which were so nice i tried them on in the change room i'll put them on for you now i'm actually just going to put them over my leggings because my leggings are really tight and they're like a pair of tights so these are called i want to say storm or story i'll link obviously everything down below but i live in my naked fashion jeans and they're looking a little bit tired but i wanted a pair of jeans actually do you remember from my last haul that i did i actually got another pair of arquette jeans i took them back because they were just too baggy at the bottom god i can't get the pocket out but these i feel like are perfect because they fit nicely around the waist like they're the right amount of baggy but then the bottom of them let me stand on this stool so you can see can you see is this like high enough they're not too baggy they are perfect. I feel like this is possibly the most unsafest way of me showing you a pair of jeans. But I also just want to show you them with a pair of trainers on. Just so you can see them like for length. Okay, so you can't really see, but like imagine them with the trainers. Like you, you really can't see, can you? But they're just a really, really lovely jean. And they're a really, really soft denim as well. And I feel like with this jacket, like this, and then a pair of trainers, very kind of easy outfit. I think it looks quite nice. So they were the first things I picked up. I also picked up another jacket from zara which looks like this it's another bomber jacket and i can't lie it is really similar to this other one i have but it's also quite different at the same time i feel like it's more casual and it doesn't have a collar like the other one has like a real collar this one doesn't so this is almost identical to that black one i just showed you but obviously it's khaki but i'm thinking obviously you could wear with these jeans and it also goes really nice with my khaki dunks love that but i'm imagining let's say like a white t-shirt i say these jeans dunks very chilled this would actually go with so much and i also think you could dress this up as well like imagine um with like a pair of combats or something and heels i feel like that could look really nice but i just felt like it was a really nice jacket to have um in my wardrobe and i wear stuff like this all of the time it's rare that i ever go out in just like a t-shirt even when it's mid-summer i don't know why i always like to wear a jacket because i just feel like it adds a little bit of something else to an outfit 
couple of other bits that I picked up from Arket was this denim shirt, which is so heavy. Like, I didn't realise how heavy it was until I had to walk around with it in a tote bag because then I went shopping like for more stuff and I was just carrying it and it was so heavy. Anyway, I picked this up. By the way, I forgot to tell you, both Zara jackets I picked up in a size medium. I'd say they fit a little bit oversized. And the jeans I got in a size 26. And the shirt I got in a size 10. And this is how it looks. Only thing I don't love about this is the baggy sleeves. Like, I'm not sure about that. I don't know how I feel. I feel like I'd prefer it if it was a little bit more cuffed, like that, maybe. And I also saw a denim shirt styled up like this, which I've never done before. But I'm going to do it with you guys now, but with a trench coat over the top. And I feel like a white t-shirt underneath would look better. This trench coat is from New Look, by the way. So this is what I mean about these cuffs being um, tighter, because they just look a little bit weird when they're sticking out like that. But with a white t-shirt underneath, and then a trench coat and a denim shirt, I love that. One of the mannequins was styled up like it in our kit and I just thought it looked really nice. I always take quite a lot of inspo from mannequins in shops. I mean, sometimes they're terrible, but often their outfits um, that they've styled up look really good. Also picked up a couple of striped jumpers. I'm only going to keep one of them. So this one was from Mango and I, it's actually a concierge because the parcel arrived yesterday, but it's from New Look. I picked up a navy trench coat. I don't know what it's going to look like in real life, but hopefully it'll be nice. And I kind of have this vision of wearing the trench coat with a navy striped jumper kind of over the shoulders like this. So this one I got from Mango and you're probably thinking, Frey, you already have striped jumpers. I do, but they're all black and white stripes where this is, say, is navy. So there's this one, I need to try on the whole outfit and see how it looks. Or I got this one as well, which is from Arket. This one was a lot more money than the one from Mango and it's a lot stripier. I feel like the Mango one is probably gonna be better. And this is more cream, where this is more white. I also picked up this little leather skirt from Mango as well, which I haven't even tried on yet. I picked it up in a size medium. I love this, I think it's so cute. So imagine like a little pair of loafers even well i feel like tights weather hopefully is over so a little pair of socks a jumper and a shirt or something like that i love this i think it's really really cute it would even look nice with like a striped jumper over the top i actually have one from um last autumn which could look cute and then i also got a few bits from reese which i haven't tried on yet because these actually came in the post but i saw these trousers actually on one of my friends nadia she has these and i just thought they were so gorgeous so i actually picked them up and i got them in a size eight so we'll actually see how these fit so i've got them in also a regular length they come in different lengths which is good so if you've got long legs or short legs then you can kind of get them to fit you they are absolutely gorgeous i feel like they are a tiny bit long on me you're not going to be able to see them but i think once i have a shoe on let's say like my chloe trainer i feel like they are perfect it looks kind of terrible because i've still got black leggings on underneath but they're such a lovely kind of like tailored trouser but then they look really casual with this tie string waist i think they're absolutely gorgeous i love them and i love doing like an all cream or neutral look so i think that's what i'm going to try and do and then i also picked up this um like crochet shirt which i'm not sure how it was going to look in real life but i think it looks so lovely it actually goes really quite nicely with these trousers but i was thinking of wearing it with just a pair of denim jeans once again just something would be really lovely as the weather warms up a little bit and i've just said i never wear anything without a jacket but i was planning on wearing this without a jacket i love reese clothing i think the quality is always so so good they do some really lovely pieces this is probably the worst styling haul of all time but i got this silky kind of slinky skirt because i got another one from new look this week that some of you will have seen if you um follow me on instagram which i say all the time you should follow me over there looks like this thought it would look really nice with a pair of converse but actually i showed you it in my last vlog didn't i because i showed you a cutaway how lovely is this also from mango and i was thinking of wearing it with this knit jumper over the top kind of like this i don't know how it will look styled up but also with a pair of like let's say or, or even my chloe trainers like with my chloe trainers I feel like this could look really cute. I had to stop recording because my camera said it was about to overheat, which isn't really great. But I put most of my stuff away. There was one other thing that I got, which I didn't show you. Well, actually two of my other things. I got this, which is a new bottle of Fix Plus from MAC. If you don't use this on your face, after you've done your makeup, or even before, then you need to start using it. It's so good. It kind of just, 
it helps your makeup kind of like sit on your face nicely but it also leaves it really dewy and it's just a product that i can't live without i actually finished a bottle so i bought another one and i also picked up this perfume which i'm sorry this bottle is the most gorgeous bottle of all time look at it so this is from perfumes de mali I mean, I'm probably saying that so wrong. Can we just take a moment for the bottle? Like, is this just not the prettiest perfume bottle you've ever seen? It's even this cute little diamante on the top. I originally smelled this a few months back and it just blew me away, but I felt like it was a very sort of summer, fruity, kind of tropical scent, but it is absolutely absolutely beautiful and going into spring i'm really trying to like switch up some of my perfumes you guys know that i got a joe malone one recently too but i like having different perfumes for different occasions different times of day and this i wish you could just smell it through the screen i don't want to spray too much of it because i just don't want to waste it because it smells so good but it's not my usual scent it's almost like a mixture i need to lower you down i need to sit down it's almost like how can i explain it it's floral but not too floral because i definitely don't like floral scents it's sweet but it's also got like a musky undertone it honestly smells like summer in a bottle it's so beautiful i'm actually going to look up online what it says the scent is because i feel like that always really kind of like explains it much better than i would okay so on the website it says a charming and firmly modern floral bouquet interesting because i did say it did smell floral selena i hope i'm saying that right is a highly nuanced fragrance which is both sweet and sensual eau de parfum relishes in its floral accords i'm so bad at reading which are dominated by turkish rose lily of the valley and peony blended with the rounded tangy notes of lychee yes you can definitely smell lychee in it it's funny one of my favorite drinks is actually a lychee martini and you can really smell that rhubarb bergamot and nutmeg vanilla accents and the sensuality of the composition of the base my god this is so hard to read mingling with white musk i did say there was musk cashmere whatever that is cedarwood and incense i mean that was a mouthful and my dyslexic self struggled with that so if any of you out there are trying to you know get yourself a new fragrance for spring summer try this i don't actually know if this is actually new but I've only just found out about it. I kind of don't want to tell everyone about it because we'll all end up smelling the same. It'll be like the Baccarat Rue situation all over again. But at the same time, you guys know I never gatekeep good products from you. And this smells so good. I have to say it's too nice to be spraying every day. So that's why I've got like my other fragrances that I can wear on a daily basis. Anyway, as I was putting up those last few bits, I was thinking to myself, I have a rail in a cupboard, which is in my hallway. And I'm thinking, I feel like there's a little bit of room on that rail for me to get rid of a few of these coats from here. And then I can put some of the jackets over there. Because I'm just not loving how this looks. I don't think I've done a very good job of this wardrobe switch over. So I'm thinking I could move some of those coats into there. Put those to there. And just kind of make it look a little bit better. But in the meantime, before we do that, I'm going to actually have a break from this. And my boyfriend and I are going to go and walk to Marks and Spencer's. I'm going to go and buy all the ingredients to cook a roast dinner. And it'll also be nice to just get outside and get some fresh air. And I also actually really want to get myself a pair of navy converse. Because I have this outfit envisioned in my head. And I feel like navy converse. Or like, you know like the light blue ones? I feel like I need them to complete the look. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> we are just walking to the shops. This one doesn't really like walking though, do you? I don't mind walking. Well, it's cold. Yeah, it's cold today. But I feel like it's good for us to get our steps in. Let's not fall in the water. We are, um, we're going to go to Marks and Spencer's, get stuff to cook a roast. And I feel like we're also going to go to, you know, Noops and get hot chocolate. Should we do that? Look at the ducks, guys. How cute. <laughs> and these ones over here, are they ducks? I've never seen ducks that look like that before. These are obviously ducks, but what are they? My little duckies. Aww. I wish they had some ducklings with them. We have just made it into office and they have so many different converse. But look at these new balance that I found. They're such a nice colour. Look at them. But I think I'm going to get these Converse just to hit. They also have lots of 550 new bags if any of you guys wanted those. Okay. 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 
The hot chocolate, 10 out of 10. I feel like actually though it could be a little bit, like I could have got a little bit dark. I feel like 55% would have been good. Anyway, we're now in M&S getting some stuff for roast dinner. M&S roast potatoes and all of their trimmings. You just can't go wrong. We have all of our stuff for the roast dinner that he is going to cook. Oh, you darling. Also got some berries for my porridge tomorrow. And he got some bananas for his smoothie. Okay, we were lazy. We didn't walk back because we have bags with us. Oh for dinner. I am home and update on this room so basically my coats they were all here weren't they and there were so many more up there than that but what I've done is I've only kept the coats up there that I feel like I could wear in spring so like my duster coats my trenches leather coats the rest of the coats are currently on the floor but I'm going to put them on um, another rail and I actually forgot that I had all of these blazers in very pastel colors which I feel like are really going to throw off sort of the color scheme of the room but I had um, these in the cupboard, so I've created some room in there. So I'm gonna put these up there somewhere and then put them in the cupboard. Does this make any sense? I'm also gonna quickly show you guys some of the trainers that I picked up from office because I ended up getting a few new pairs. I actually only went in for these Converse, but ended up with more. The first pair of shoes I picked up were a pair of Converse. I have so many pairs of Converse. But they're just like the easiest shoes ever, I think. I just think they go with everything. They're so timeless. And some of my Converse I've had for absolutely years. So I picked up these, which are kind of like a navy blue. Because I'm going to show you. I got a trench from New Look. I'm going to go and get it. And the trench coat is this colour. And so I thought that these Converse would go quite nicely with it. And then this is the same jacket, like the same coat. That I was thinking this striped jumper could go like over the back of it with a white t-shirt, pair of jeans and these converse. I'm going to put it together tonight and as I said earlier in this video, I am shooting with my dad tomorrow. So I'm thinking that could be a cute outfit. The next pair, I don't know, at the moment these shoes, let me show you. These ones just here are so in, all the cool girls are wearing them. They are the Sambas from Adidas. Guys. I'm gonna be honest. I like them, but I don't love them. I've never worn them before, so I can like touch the bottom of them. Yeah, I like them, I don't love them. I feel like the front of them look a little bit weird. And I've tried them on with a few different outfits. Just wasn't really feeling it. So I picked up these instead, which are the gazelles. I feel like other gazelles is cool, I'm unsure, but I think I prefer them. I used to love back in the day, you know, the Adidas superstars, you know, like the shell toe. I lived in those. If you scroll far enough back on my Instagram, I reckon you'll actually see me with those on. I wore them in Paris. I have like selfies in a mirror. I just love those Adidas shoes. So I love that these have all kind of made a comeback. I mean, they're not the superstars, but I feel like these could be quite cool on with, let's say, like black trousers or even a pair of jeans and a black t-shirt. I think they're quite nice and they feel really comfy as well and I actually think I do prefer them to the Sambas. And then the next pair of shoes I picked up, I'm really unsure about these. They're a pair of New Balance. I bought these to see if they'd look good with, you know, the Reese trousers that I showed you earlier with the drawstring, but I'm not sure. I might end up taking them back, but I just wanted to buy them to see how they looked on first. But they're New Balance. They're in like this sort of like nudie colour. I don't know if it's showing right on camera. I mean, I do think they're quite pretty. Like, they're a nice colour. I need to see how they look kind of styled up. Let's tidy up this mess and see if I can make this whole kind of wardrobe situation look a little bit better. <laughs> bed sheets or things like that buy these bags off of amazon they are so good this is the second year of using them yeah i've used them last year as well look at that so many jumpers in there it means you can store all of your stuff like i now go and put this in i've got like a cupboard out there i pop them underneath the rail and you wouldn't even know they're there i mean it doesn't look amazing you can't really see what's going on right now i feel like it looks a little bit better than it did before i feel like i've been doing this for absolutely hours i need to organize this better but what i'm thinking is I'm gonna put shirts and kind of, yeah, basically shirts and things in this section as well. Introduce a little bit of color, put the blazers up. Look how many hangers I have left over. Have some on the floor as well. I thought I didn't have enough hangers, but once I took some stuff down and I put some stuff in those vacuum bags, 
I've actually got loads. My boyfriend has started cooking the roast dinner because he is a babe and I'm gonna sort of take over now, maybe, kind of. I'm gonna kind of call this a day in here because I'm gonna make it a mess later anyway because I need to organize all my outfits for shooting tomorrow, so. I feel like this is the best of the spring wardrobe for now. We have, well, he has the roast potatoes in the oven, the parsnips, the carrots, the pie, the broccoli cheese. We've got um, Yorkshire puddings waiting to go. Well, I did absolutely nothing. You did it all. Thank you very much. It looks delicious and can't wait to eat this. It looks so good. This is better than going out. I don't know why. I don't know how, but I feel like I've been editing this vlog for three days well i have today is currently wednesday this should have gone up on sunday but i don't know what's wrong with me also let's just ignore how i look i put some retinol on my face last night and i went to the gym this morning and this is just the current situation of me but i'm gonna wrap this vlog up here because it's ended up being very long as always thank you so much for watching guys i love you all very much if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a big thumbs up and i'll hopefully see you in my next video love you all take care bye bye